Week 27 of the Belgian Pro League, and it's only the best Sundays that get called Super Sunday here, and this is one of them. It's second against third for Club Rouge against Anderlecht, fourth against fifth for Ghent hosting Royal Antwerp, and leaders Union saint germain face Standard Liège. As well as the OWDM Love and Relegation derby, the push for the title playoffs sees St. Troden and Westlo face off, Mechelen hosts Kortrijk, Circler go to Eupen, and first, Genk in seventh, visit lowly Charleroi. Friday night football from the Belgian Pro League. Two sides who are not where they would like to be. Two sides who are not where they usually are. It's Sporting Charlotte against Racing Gang. Jeremy Petris on the way through. Good save, Van der Vert. Charlotte almost in after two minutes. Samata now with Park. Good ball. Benny is in. Stopped again by Van der Vert. And again, it's down the right hand side that Charlotte have unlegged Genk a bit. Challenge was a bit hefty. And so is the save by Coffey. And that's a corner because it could have been a goal. Rosowski's in! Very good save by Coffey. That was point blank stuff. Impressive save. Toller with the control, and Al Kanu sets the post. Geng still trying to keep it alive through Luke Hyatt. Closest we've come to a goal by a long way. Racing Genk again here if Genk drop points. Great ball! Great goal! Oh, what a finish! Oh, what a ball! Yerosaur scores with his first touch! The cross was fabulous! The finish was fantastic! And Genk break the deadlock in this massive race to get to the top six. It's Petrus on the charge. Oh, he really went for that! Magnificent save! 15 attempts for Genk in the game. They've got their reward. Yerosaur scoring straight away. Toluar Kadare. And Saw! He's had some impact since coming on. It's not a bad partnership up front, and Bonsupa is still on the pitch as well. Alawadi with a tee up, and that would have wrapped it up. Beautiful control and a strike in the turn from Tolu. Good ball, Christopher Bonsupa again. And Bonsupa will get a shot in. Superb save by Coffey. Keeps Charlois in it in stoppage time. And that'll do it. Genk go into the top six, they go fifth in the table. It's another defeat for Charleroi. They stay in the relegation zone. A big one at the bottom involving two of the bottom five. Bruno Ehrles losing his opening match in charge of OWDM against Genk last week. Love and putting pressure on straight away and attacking well straight away. And the low effort pulled across goal by Seba Scribers. It was a very good attack. Lovin trying to take advantage of Charlois' loss. Biron on the edge of the area, and Gay is up there too. And Gay gets the header on it. Just wide. Only one point from the last eight games. Gay off target. Good cross by Miguel, and a poker heads over. Nice chance at the far post. Well floated too by Miguel. Oh, that's a superb turn. Openings for Adam Romola. And in by Mikhail Biron. 
six goals now this season for our WDM. Excellently done by camera it was, and Biron finishes. That's good news for Bruno Ailes, that's what they needed. Ahead before the half-hour mark. Instant corner back for our WDM, Mazzi's with it. Plattex! Equalizers for Lovett. Maziz with a corner and Plettings with a solid planted header. Second of the season for 1 1. Pushed up well. Saved and now over by Miguel. Defoni had done a big job in pushing it away. Created well. And Miguel close. 1 1 at half time. Tight one, entertaining all the same. Camera, cross was good. And Gay! Causing Lyson to stretch. Got on the end of it well, did the number nine, Gay. And a Ramola. He's worked it up well, and Gay all the way! Turbo Lyson stretching to save. Set up by Adaramola very well, and Gay was in. Lyson stretching well to stop it. Dug out again well in midfield by Lerven. And Torstein Sun hits the post from a long way out. Great chance for the Iceland international. On quickly. Camera and Gay. Oh, WDM ahead again. Or are they? Camera offside, it won't count. Miguel. Testing. Good push away by Tio de Forni. Pressure as well on or WDM here. 1-1, one, one. both will feel the result has gone away from them. Or WDM stay third from bottom. Love and a point clear the drop zone. Or WDM one, love and one. Ninth hosting 10th, both St. Churn and Westlow enjoying a resurgence. The Canaries celebrating the club's 100th anniversary tonight. Van Marzema, good break for the right straight away. And Koita, just wide. Brilliant opening after 110 seconds for the Canaries. Koita right in front of goal. Koita, good break outside the area, and Bolat saving well again. Well, they go within five points of the title playoffs if they win tonight with three games to go. And they are going for it. It's a worrying sight. One of the banners has caught fire somehow. Big job in extinguishing it. Westerlo driving on. Good header, Sidorchuk off the crossbar. And again the rebound by Sidorchuk. Comes towards Seda Manish. That's blocked. All the way to Pete Ford, deflected. Good save, Sion Suzuki. Good pressure after half an hour from Westerlo, and they hit the woodwork through St. Orchuk, and then a flurry of chances. But none of them going in, and in the end, good stop Suzuki, that. Stokers having a brilliant season. Ito! Beautiful goal! A fine chip by Riotaro Ito! Nine minutes from half-time, St. Trudon in front. Just too high for Sinan Bollock. Maybe a slight nick on the way. And the Canaries lead. Stoke is getting it out wide. Good chance, Delorge. Stopped somehow. Ito denied a second. Plethora of chances they've had. 1-0 to St. Troden. They've got more coming. 
They've got Kai in the middle. What a brilliant save. What a brilliant save by Bolak to deny Fatih Kaya. That was tight, to say the very least. It would have been viewed again, but Kaya, good stop. Koita, a real threat. Curl just wide. Centroden really all over them now. Chance for Fujita. How is it still only 1-0? Fujita, the latest, off the post. Whipped long, very long by Nicholas Madsen. And this could be it now, it's not. Suzuki's kept it out. And Freegan denied. And Boss denied. Superb ball forward. And it's been dropped suddenly by Bolat, and Barnes has almost scored it. That would have wrapped it up. Bang on the 90 minutes. Bolat sliding, the ball coming out, and Giselfo Barnes just wide. Centrodon go marching on. Nine unbeaten at home since Union came here in October. Centrodon won, Westlow nil. Happy birthday. Mechelen's first win at Antwerp since 1995 sees them up to eighth, and that's made them title player of contenders. They've only lost three games in that time. Kortrijk was showing signs of revival, but have lost the last two against Centroden and Union Sanju was. Seven wins in 13 for Besnikasi, Ferrer Alexanderson losing the last two. Bright start for Kortrijk. Afalabi, the Irish signing for Bohemians. Lovely ball forward, he's got Dia to Devin! Just off target from Dion Denev. The basement club showing some fight. Afalabi, lovely weighted ball through the middle. And Denev almost scoring. Deep corner. Bill Antonio nodding it on. Mecklen on the break. Scopes getting it forward. It's Bill Antonio again. Three goals in seven games for the 21-year-old from Zimbabwe. Bill Antonio broke up the court track attack. Scopes capitalised. Antonio well on side in his own half. Great pace. One-touch finish. What a ball by Scopes. And what a fabulous finish by Bill Antonio. Mecklen, a goal to the good, and Bill Antonio receiving from Slimani. Nice break down the right. Shafri Ehrmans on the edge of the area, hits the crossbar. Superb attack. And these days, when Mecklen are good, they are very, very good. Ehrmans in space, a belter. 1-0 at half-time, lovely to see Lawrence Fisser back, by the way. Had been out injured for four months. Ehrmans. Bill Antonio, dangerous ball in the centre. And recovered well in the end by Tom Vandenberg, a recall tonight. Messer two, and Davis, good header by the Welshman. Very effective save by Gaetan Cook, reacted sharpish. Long by Leon Lauberbach. Patrick Fluka and the return from Rauti, and Fluka! Vandenberger pushing it away well, and they're looking for handball. Not sure they're going to get it, but it's another very, very good chance. Rebounded back down to the German striker, and he really tested the keeper. Now the back throw, Slimane! Fluka taking it up. Made work well, Fluka, good ball in. Oh, and it's in! It's in! But it's ruled as having already got out of play.
before Fluka crossed it in. That goal being disallowed, a major let-off for Tom Vandenberger. Fluka on the right. Well, I think that was still in when the ball was crossed, and then it's turned in by Vandenberger for an own goal. And it counts, it's 2-0. Four minutes after the restart. Mecklen in control. It took a while to judge, but that was in all the way. Tight, yes, and Vandenberger unfortunate. Korczyk, no joy with a breakthrough in stoppage time. Storm. Baftili. That'll do it. 3-0. And Mecklen's rise continues. Bilal Baftili with his first goal in professional football. What a lovely finish. He picked it up deep in Korczyk territory. Receiving from Nicola Storm. Fine strike from outside. Little nick along the way. Take a bow, you deserve it. Eight wins in 14 games under Beznik Hasi now. 27 points from a possible 42. Only the top four can claim better than that right now. Mecklen three points off the title playoffs. Kortrijk rock bottom with their third loss on the chart. Mecklen three, Kortrijk nil. These two have been in the hunt behind European heroes in Essentials all season. Four weeks to go in the regular campaign. They will meet again in the playoffs. From the Jan Bridal, Club Bruges against Anderlecht. Great ball forward. Nielsen's in. Great setup for Layson just wide. Here's Nusa. Cascading run forward. Fanaka with a knock down brilliantly! Ferran Juckler does it again! He scored in four games in a row! And breaks the airlock in the Classica! No eager Thiago today! But they've got the perfect fill-in. Strike ends. That was some response. Minile pushing it away. Almost a goal within a minute back for Anderlecht. Bit of arm control, I thought, there. Dolberg on the way. Dolberg puts it in. Anderlecht to level. Handball! Great cross, good header, just wide! Torgan Hazard, brilliant opening! He got it in time! Taken up well by Hazard, he's on the stride forward well. Dreyer short, Dolberg! Brilliant drive from outside the area. Lanta out wide to Antonio Nusa, he's got the overlap, here's Maher, that's brilliantly done. Good ball in the centre, Schuckla! Charged down. Smacked away by Dreyer. Club wanted a penalty there for handball. Not forthcoming. Here's uh, Patrice, good short ball, chance for Asa to get the cross in, deep one, good header, great equaliser! Twelve minutes to go! It's that man again! 
so reliable in front of goal right now. The pullback by Azad. Vasquez going in. And that's now six goals he scored as a substitute. That's a cracking ball forward and suddenly Dreyer's in. He's got plenty of support. Dreyer will have the pop across goal and it's there. Nilsson and Gullo scores with his first touch. And it might be the winning goal for Anderlecht in stoppage time. They haven't won a Club Bruges in six years. One win out of 17 against Club. But in the 91st minute, Anderlecht are in front. Dreyer had a pop, that's onside. And Angelo slips in, having just come on to score what may well be the winner. Anderlecht have done it. Their first win at Club Bruges for six years. It's 12 points between these two. The subs have done it, Vasquez and Angelo. And just like what happened at Anderlecht the other week, club leading late on have lost this game. It's 16 unbeaten now for Anderlecht. Their best run in the league since they won the league in 2014. Anderlecht go five points behind Union saint was with Union playing later. It's getting tighter at the top in Belgium. Sixth hosting fourth here, and a chance for both to make waves in the title playoffs. But both playing for Europe, realistically, and not the silverware now. From Artevelde Park, the Kaa Ghent Arena, it's Ghent against Royal Antwerp. Now Brown has got space, released by Sonko. First time cross was brilliant, it's in! It's in off Alderweireld! It's the Antwerp old boy, Peter Gerkens, who made it happen, and he is celebrating against his old team. And Genter in front. Fourth against fifth they were going into the weekend. Comes to the edge of the area, and Youssef! So close to an equaliser straight away. Narrowly wide by Alassane Youssef. Jakob and Dreyka in the middle, trying to pick out. Bataille, who's gone down, and the shot comes in, and it's a penalty. He was just inside. It's a penalty for Antwerp. Now, who takes this? So, Jakob on Draker, his first spot kick for Royal Antwerp. Oh, it's gone in! It's snuck in under Daniel Schmidt. Antwerp a level. Cross by Brown, great cross, and it's in again, and it's Gerkens again. And the double winner with Antwerp has struck twice against them. And Ghent lead again. Before the half-hour mark, and Antwerp are only level for two and a half minutes. Batai getting it out wide. It's a great ball, what a header! Janssen denied by a magnificent Schmidt save. It's high octane stuff up front between these two. Here's Hong, good play. Launched forward well, Desart, cracking ball. 
Now here's an opening, it's Tariq Tisadali. Tisadali, good save by Bute. It's a corner. He has had some openings and so much now reliant on him. 15 goals this season. And this could set them on the way. Tisadali didn't get the finish away. And he was on the way. It's open up for Victor Udo. Good cross! It's 2 2! It's George! George Ellen Akena ties it up with seven minutes to go. Here's there another comeback victory coming for Antwerp. Rebuffed well by Nuria Fortuna, has poked forward brilliantly. Here's Lauren Dupont. Tisadali alongside, chance to hold it up, waiting for the rest to come in. Tisadali has it. He's pulled it back well, Lissart. Julian Desart with the big moment to win Ghent the game. It's Archie Brown, chance to pull it across, goal! Must be, isn't! Deport at the far post! Stretched and stretched and could not steer it in. Great game. It's a 2-2 draw in the end. Antwerp go level with Club Bruges. Antwerp fourth, Ghent sixth. Ghent could be knocked out of the top six shortly. It's a point each. It's been brilliant. Ghent two, Royal Antwerp two. Union 20 unbeaten in the league, heroically winning at Eintracht Frankfurt in Europe midweek. Standard Liège hovering above the relegation zone, eight points out of 33 from the last 11 games. What a display it was in Germany during the week. Glorious from Union. Fenerbahce waiting for them in the last 16. Decent ball wide, here's Tekla. Cross was decent, but I missed it! And they claimed it! Almost an own goal off Panzo, I think. Tech Lab, lovely cross, cut inside. Pass shield to Al, they were all onside. And Bodo reacting well, off Panzo it was. That is a good reaction save. Puertas, working it down the left again. Tech Lab, who played in the fourth flight in Germany last season with Preussen Munster. Puertas! Oh, lovely try! And Arno Bodo saves brilliantly again for Standard Liège to keep Union at bay. Decent one, long by Dewal and Burgess. He's in a spot of bother here, and Yabala hits the post. What a brilliant opening, and Murray saves the rebound. It was Price who had a good chance, but Kelvin Yaboa, quite effective since signing off the upright. It's the closest we've come to a goal. He caught Burgess out and almost scored. Puertas. Got it through well. Noah Siddiqui. Good openings for him. He's gone down. Eckert's gone down. It's going to be a corner for Union. Good burst forward by Siddiqui. Went tumbling. Eckert too. Challenge from Van Oosten. First knock and Siddiqui was outside the area, but there was a pull on Eckert, surely. Nicola Laforge having a look himself, the referee. Just watch Van Oosten bring Eckert down here. Strong case for a penalty. And Nicola Laforge gives the penalty for Nuno. Gustav Nielsen. Put away. 
Union in front. 11 minutes to half time. He's come from the third flight to Germany himself. And that is a nice conversion to put Union in front. They've had a lot of the play. They look comfortable. Here's Tech Lab. Lots of rotation in the squad tonight. And Eckert makes it two. Nielsen with the opening goal has provided the assist here. And Dennis Eckert gets his name on the score sheet. Well, the three men involved in that move have all been playing recently in very lower league football in Germany. But here they are right at the top in Belgium. That is a brilliant goal. Riding high in Europe, still in Europe, that's the big thing. And Dennis Eckert with a gorgeous volley. 2-0, two goals in three minutes, and that's that. It's a solid lead. De Waal. Good ball for Neusten. Short inside, and Yeboah is there, and what a save by Anthony Morris. Rebound away by Burgess. Ivan Leko's men have knocked on the door a few times without breaking their duck yet. Yeboah, a lovely strike, lovely save. Nothing on the rebound. Dewal up and Van Oysten up. Van Oysten went down quite heavily as well, and he is still down. Well, Nielsen was in the air. It was a three-way collision. Van Oysten's fall was very heavy. He has had massive injury problems, of course, for years and years. It's a very sorry sight to see the Standard Liège captain being stretched off. We can only wish him the very best. Kawabe with the corner. It's come all the way through. Gineppo, it's in! And again, Union can't keep a clean sheet. Musa Gineppo strikes. Absolute massive players in the box, almost 20. And Gineppo's strike evaded them all. Morris completely unsighted. That's the view he had, and it flew past. It's been a little bit more uncomfortable for Union than perhaps it might have been, but they've, I think, been the better side. Rotated heavily tonight, Amora off the bench in the past few minutes. That's a decent ball out wide. And he'll come back for Amora too, and he's almost scored! He is such a pocket of dynamite. Came on late. No Lazar tonight because of injury. That's a lovely pop. Little flick by Tech Lab was gorgeous. And Amora and Tech Lab! Brilliant save by Bodar once more. He has almost single-handedly kept Standard Liège in this game. Union have had a right rocket at them tonight, but only beat them twice. Tech Lab, that would have been some goal. And another smashing save. It's 21 unbeaten for Union, eight points clear of Anderlecht again, but they made it harder on themselves than it had to be. No clean sheet in six games. They continue the march. One win in 12 for Standard Liège. Uni saint was two, Standard one. <laughs> Ipen have lost four in a row. Circle Bruges, seven points in the last three games. Van Genechten. That's a great break by Van Genechten. Cross on the right was good. Arena Emma was there. It's a good opening, it's the first opening after half an hour. I'll be honest, we've had better first halves. Nil-nil at the break, don't worry, a better second half to come. Van der Bruggen, the circular captain, at the moment anyway. It's rebounded well, and on the turn, it's Augusto. That was a very good chance.
Circle are pushing a lot forward here. They've not created much yet. Felix Le Marichal creating a bit now. Good save, Slanina. Denying Van der Bruggen. They've waited a long time for a chance of this quality. And finally, on the hour mark, they forced a save. They've kept it very tight tonight, open. That's very gratifying for them. Taken very well by Lambert. Good distance out. Survival still possible for Open. They've got to start winning games again. They won their first two of this calendar year and now lost four in a row. They've kept Circler quite, though. Minda has got it forward towards Denki. Oh, he shot early! And Kevin Denki scores! The top goal getter in the Pro League has done it again. He's barely had a sniff all night, but he got one there. Lovely finish. Not a lot of danger when it was round halfway, but Minda with that brilliant goal last week in the derby. And now Denki. 21 for the season. 1 0, 63 minutes gone. It was going so well for Open. Van Genechten losing out on the throw and by. And Denki's taking it up. This is the last man open one coming through on goal. He's done it again. Two goals in three minutes. 22 for the campaign. For the man well in front in the Belgian goal scoring charts. He's among the five leading scorers in the top 22 leagues in Europe. He's riding high in the race for the European Golden Boot, let alone the Belgian Golden Bull. 2-0. There's only one Kevin Kanki, and don't open know it. Four goals in two games. It's one of those situations where Serkla, who are not prone to scoring lots of goals, might just do that. Minda. Van der Bruggen. Got to back out towards uh, a leg base, suddenly in front of goal, good save. And Alan Minder now, it stayed out. Circle of Bruges showing great form of late, open exactly the opposite, trying to get out of this bad run of defeats. They've got plenty forward open. Oh, good one, and Wallace and touches away. That's a warning. Very, very good opportunity. Open enjoying one of the best spells in the game. Lambert saw Wallace off his line. And it almost paid off. It's been a lot tighter than many surely would have thought. Felix Le Marechal. Lovely ball forward. And Fekele's in. Good save. Slanini has had to pull off a few of those tonight. Open have been pinned back a lot in this second half, and it's almost three. Life's never easy at the bottom. Open have had their struggles lately. Bright spot with those two wins at the start of the year. It's a very good pullback. And Wallison denies it. Kral and Filarizzo in front of goal. And the new arrival, Filarizzo, on the follow-up, and Wallison with a superb save. He's kept his clean sheet. Is there no stopping Circle Bruges right now? The back up to fifth, and only two points off Club Bruges and Antwerp in third and fourth. Four unbeaten, ten points out of 12. They're coming good at precisely the right time. Kevin Denke suspended against Mechlin next week, though. Open nil, circular two. Only one of the top nine losing. Genk back in the top six after winning at Charlois. Even at the bottom between OWDM and Leuven. Centrone and Mechlin keep up the hunt for the top six with wins over Westlow and Kortrijk. Andalek's first Classico win at Club Bruges in six years increases the gap between them. 
Ghent and Antwerp share four goals and the points. Union 21 unbeaten now after winning against Standard and Circle of Bruges with their Denki double to see off Open. Union is still eight points clear of Anderlecht at the top with nine points still to play for. Club Bruges in third are as many points away from Union as they are the relegation zone, 20 points. Antwerp go level with them in fourth. Circle of Bruges return to fifth and could go third for 24 hours at least next weekend. Genk are six now, but in the week of their European elimination, former leaders Ghent fall outside the top six places. Mechelen and St. Troden can mathematically still make it. At the bottom, it's now three losses in a row for Kortrijk, five in a row for Eupen, or WDM claim just their second point in nine games. Charleroi, one point from their last four. Laven and Standard is still hovering above the relegation zone. The bottom four will be involved in the playdowns. Another big game at the bottom to start week 28 on Friday with Charleroi visiting Westerlo. Circular's chance to enter the top three comes Saturday afternoon against Mechelen, themselves four points off the top six. Leaders Union are at struggling Leuven. Ghent need a result now at Standard Liège, and them too. Genk are only two points off Club Bruges and they meet Sunday lunchtime. Fellow title playoff chasers Antwerp host St. Troden, Anderlecht play open, and a big win again at the bottom to round off on Sunday night, Kortijk against or WDM. Until then, from Will Downing and the Pro League team in Brussels, enjoy your football.